Good morning and welcome to the second Japan-Africa Business Forum organized by the African Development Bank and the African Diplomatic Corps. Thank you all for coming and I regret very much that I cannot be with you in person today. Japan is one of our strongest and most reliable supporters, partners and stakeholders. I appreciate the serious and positive approach taken by Japanese representatives supporting the bank in the past and even now. Japan has been a member of the African Development Bank since December 1982 and has contributed to all general capital increases of the bank since then. I warmly thank Japan for its strong support to the bank group, including a very significant contribution to the 14th replenishment of the African Development Fund, which included a substantial bridge loan from the government of Japan. I also appreciate that Japan has been a reliable partner on the enhanced private sector assistance for Africa for over 10 years. The development aid priorities of the government of Japan have focused on Africa and put emphasis on utilizing and deploying the private sector, and in particular, public-private partnerships. In 2015, Prime Minister Abe said that the government of Japan intended to promote quality infrastructure investments that are environmentally friendly, disaster resilient, and cost effective in the long run. Our medium term objectives for African economic transformation are demonstrably alike. We wish to boost private sector led growth in Africa and thus take a logical approach to attracting the enormous investments that we need to accelerate Africa's development. We also both place high value on investments in the education of Africa's children and youth. Japan's priorities are therefore perfectly aligned with the bank's own priorities and its high five strategy, light up and power Africa, feed Africa, industrialize Africa, integrate Africa, and improve the quality of life for the people of Africa. That's why the bank is building greater links with Japan through the African Development Bank Group's external representation office for Asia. The office is the bank's only external office outside of Africa, opened in Tokyo in 2012, to help strengthen the bank's communications and influence on African development issues in Asia and the Pacific region. It has done great work, and we look forward to this office continuing to be in the thick of discussions between the bank and the government of Japan to promote business and investment opportunities in and with Africa. In August 2016, during the 6th Tokyo International Conference on African Development, Japan pledged $30 billion of aid in public and private support for Africa over the next three years to boost infrastructure building on the continent. This was a huge leadership commitment which is enormously appreciated. When African heads of state met with Prime Minister Abe at the TICAT 6 meeting in Nairobi, Kenya, they requested a financing facility to allow Africa to benefit from Japanese technologies, skills and expertise, especially in the energy sector, including clean coal technologies. Prime Minister Abe listens to Africa. Here's Africa and responds to the needs of Africa, all without conditions. Prime Minister Abe and Deputy Prime Minister Asso responded to Africa strongly with a provision of six billion US dollars to support the Japan-Africa Energy Partnership. I was delighted to sign this exciting memorandum of understanding just two weeks ago at the African Union Summit. The Japan-Africa Energy Initiative we significantly bolster Africa's ability to develop its base load power needed to support its industrial development. We welcome this initiative with enthusiasm and gratitude and hope that it will catalyze further support from other partners to meet the huge financing gap in Africa's energy sector. Japan's commitment to Africa and to the African Development Bank will serve as a bright and shining model for other partners to increase their support for the High Fives agenda to light up and power Africa. I look forward to the government of Japan's strong support for expanding Japanese business investments 
in Africa. I know there are several Japanese private sector leaders there, with you all there today. To you, let me say that Africa is doing well. Forget the negative narratives. Africa's economies will grow at 3.4% this year, up from 2.2% last year, and reach 4.3% next year. Let me underscore the resilience of African economies. Last year, 32 African countries grew at rates of between 3 to 5%. 12 countries grew at above 5%, all above global averages. Foreign direct investments to Africa will reach $57.5 billion this year, compared to $56 billion last year, and just $2 billion in 1990. Africa's future is definitely bright, despite the challenges. Think of a continent where household expenditures will rise to $1.4 trillion in the next three years. Think of a continent where business-to-business -business investment will rise to $3.5 trillion in the next five years. Think of a continent where the population by 2050 will be the same as the combined population of India and China today. Think of a continent that will brim with huge demand from a rising youth population, reaching 840 million by 2050, with rapid growth of the middle class. But don't think far, just think Africa. And that's also why the African Development Bank is launching the Africa Investment Forum, which will kick off next year. I warmly welcome you to invest in Africa. Be part of Africa's bright investment future. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu.